it's a wet and dreary day today but I've, I've got my Christmas lights up look I don't generally do Christmas but I thought in order to make myself a little bit happier I'll put some Christmas lights up and see what they're like I quite like them to be honest I think they're pretty good um what we're we going to talk about today well I am going to move from Grove Lock to the other side of Leighton Buzzard and also I'm going to get my bike serviced and also I'm going to tell you that I have applied to become a member of the CRT Council and because it's easy to complain isn't it but in order to make things better you need to be in the mix of making things better and that's kind of what I want to do now if you have a CRT license as a boater the nominations are out on the 13th of of December and you can go on the website and and there's various people I think you you have to uh, vote um, for various people so um, if you think that I am capable of doing the job then please um, vote vote for granddad boat well, which is me by the way and um, well I think that's it for now um, so well run the VT Windy, wet, not necessarily cold day, but um, at the Grove, Grove Lock, I'm heading that way. Um, I've wrecked a mooring spot the other side of Leighton Buzzard. Um, the risk is it's not going to be there when I get there, which is why I've moved on a cold and wet, rainy, windy, horrible day less chance of anybody else snaffling that spot no guarantee is there a lunatic like me is moving on a day like today somebody else might hopefully unlikely hopefully wind's actually playing havoc it's a stronger wind than I anticipated oh well there we go so um past the grove lots of bouncing around in the lock uh, well the, the boat was going down so it wasn't caused by water it was just caused by wind um, this boat here on the right has clearly been bought because there's some work going on on it I wonder if he's got dispensation to stay there. I mean, it's been there at least a year. But at least um, someone's bought it and um, doing it up, making it at home, which is a good thing. Now, last, well, April, April gone, just, I'll say just, six months ago, just, um, this CRT style boat is in prime mooring position and was there for more than two weeks and it started to fill up with rubbish well now look at it and it's still there with more rubbish in it now a couple of things CRT get a grip I said it in April get a grip because I think you're taking the mick why do you leave your craft in prime moorings positions I mean up here at Grove great place great place to moor pub up just there quite nice food um, it's a trip into Leighton Buzzard on Shanks's pony but it is a trip into Leighton Buzzard a 
and I was stuck here for 10 days last year. Um, but that boat is, well, it's just a rubbish bin. And I don't think it's right that CRT don't play by their own rules. Now here's me going out on the limb and I'd like someone from CRT to state exactly why they don't play by their own rules or why they moor their craft like that in a great mooring spot. Just, it's almost like we make the rules for you to obey. We don't have to. That's like tyranny. I'm just putting it out there. going when there's boats moored pretty much the whole way and then when they weren't moored I forgot to open up a bit that's the way it goes um, but I'm hoping that not too far away from here there's that little spot I, I spotted where I can park up moor up stop up top top of water that took a long time and also, I've um, filled my two rolly, watery container things. See how that works. This is just lazy. I get it's nearly dark, but there's plenty of mooring up there and uh, I see this often wide beamers well not just wide beamers but I do see it more with wide than I do narrow just can't be bothered to close the gates why okay he closed one can't be bothered to go across and he's got a passenger as well so I'll do it for you mate Hey. biking for service 
It's something I noticed when I was down at Leighton Buzzard last year. I thought, oh, there's a bike shop there. Next time I come through, I'll have my bike service. That's what I'm going to do. Anyway, here we go. I've got my woolly out on. Clean the bike and had to go through some muddy puddles. Too bad. It's right, I'll give it a clean up this morning. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to bring it in minging. The bike fella, Ashley his name is. Um, if you're ever in the, the Leighton Buzzard area and uh, you want to support local business, um, he's a great bike mechanic. Now, some of the things that I learned from him because we had a chat and, um, you know, we would chat about all sorts of stuff. Because I said to him, how's business going? He goes, oh, it's very difficult at the moment. Extremely quiet. In fact, I was the first customer pretty much all week. And uh, he said, it's really difficult to get parts for bikes because the, well, the, the all the parts of the bikes go into the Euro Europe and then Europe distributes to different countries and stuff like that. Um, so, and also because of Brexit, the Europeans can, well, they can sell all the, the bike parts to, to the European countries uh, because it's free trade and all that sort of stuff. And because of Brexit comes in, they can no longer be bothered to fill out the paperwork and go through all the procedure of dealing with Brexit. So um, bike distributors, bike, part distributors are um, going under he said you need a new chain wheel i've got three cogs on the front for different speeds and all that sort of stuff he said the top chain uh top wheel that um coggy thing uh, uh is well you could do with a new one i said oh how much are they then he goes mm, if i can get a part it's probably about 100 quid I saved myself 100 quid because I don't use it that much and I certainly don't do the amount of miles that I used to do. But instead I bought a foldy up bike and that means that, um, well, it's easier. Oh, I quite like it. It's not, it's not an expensive foldy up bike and it gave me a good deal. So enough of bikes, let's move to Leighton Buzzard. Um, Christmas time is coming, it is, and it's here at Leighton Buzzard. Leighton Buzzard, leading up to the town centre, some pretty houses with some lights and things. And a packed centre of town of all families of different ages, mainly kids, mainly sort of parents and type stuff. And look at that. No, not for me, not anymore, not anymore. And there's a crimbo tree. Don't know who turned the lights on, someone did, clearly. Light the fireworks display though. Dance in there, good girl. This thing again, up and down, round and round. No, no, not for me, too old. And the town centre had lots of arty and crafty type 
stalls, cakes, and a band. Well, well done. Some cheering going on. They were quite good, actually. And here he is, Father Crimbo, Santa Claus, the big man himself. It's the first real... <sighs> what did I stand on, then? Look there. Oh. It was one of those cellophane. There was Viennese biscuits in it. Made for sharing. <sighs> Failed. First cold morning on the boat. Uh, it's not bad, really. Um, well, it's 13 degrees in here, so it's reasonably chilly. But I'm happy. Fire's on, central heating's on. And um, oh, yeah, it's, last night was last night was um, Leighton Buzzard's Christmas opening thingy, jobby, lights, fun fairs, bands and stages, people absolutely everywhere couldn't move. I had to come back. Bit of a bar humbug, but I mean those sort of things. I would like the these are the these are the instances I bang on about. You know when I say I'm a bit lonely and all this. Oh, well, I could go out there and, and enjoy the fun. No, not on my own. I'd love to go out there. Loads of families, loads of kids, loads of loads of push chairs. Oh, it was just. I'm not get, am I getting too old for it. I just just think you know those those things are for younger people. It's just too loud, too noisy, too bustly. Couldn't move. Anyway, it was it was very good and well done, Leighton Buzzard County Council or whatever you call yourselves, Parish Council, whoever it is that organises that. Well done. I think that was a good move and uh, brought people out and um, the young the younger generation. Some of those fair rides though, five pound a pop. Where did that? Where did five pound come from? Mind you, it's not just going round and round in like in a <laughs> in a whirly gig or something. Some of those rides were fantastic. Yeah, brilliant. Anyway, cup of tea. I'm struggling. That last vlog when I discussed that, um, very useful because the comments were very useful for me. And uh, I just want to say thank you for all those people that did comment. And I just want to point out that, that, you know, while I discuss loneliness, there's lots of people that have phoned me up, um, reference that. Next week's vlog, I might discuss that in depth because there's, there's a fella north, 15 years my senior, same sort of background as me, but he was much better. Um... He phoned me up and he said, mate, you, you've kind of hit the nail on the head, but it's really difficult to identify the differences between homeland and boat home. Um, but there is a difference. And it's quite difficult to articulate it. Uh, and that's to do with lifestyle, loneliness. And it's always interesting, some of these early people that I used to watch on, on the vlogging thing, um, don't live on a boat anymore. I wonder why that is. It's because it's a bit difficult. So next week, I will let you know that I've run out of content. Because I've been worrying about this website and, and doing website-y type stuff, which is not going very well. Um, but uh, I haven't been able to get out on the ground and do stuff. So next week it will be a different style of vlog and, uh, you know, you don't have to watch it if you're here just to watch narrow boaty type stuff. But this channel is about me living on a narrow boat, not necessarily narrow boaty stuff. Um, so a bit of a change next week. I think it'll be a great discussion. I'm hoping will it will be and I will tie up some loose ends. And then, then I'm on the move. I've spoken to Amanda. I've spoken to Janine. I've spoken to Lloyd. Not going to see Janine. She's staying down south. May not see Lloyd either. Because he's had to do some work on his boat. But I am going to see Amanda. And I've been knocking around with Pat and Karen. Not sure if I'm going to be able to do, do too much with them. Um, yeah, I, I don't think they want to be on the video. But... Lots planned, but it just not happened this week. 
But um, thanks for watching, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing, those of you that haven't. If you haven't subscribed, give it a go because I like to talk about narrowboat stuff in stuff my life in the narrowboat. And um, until then, next week, because I don't know what's going on next week. Ciao. Bye -bye.